So when taking panoramic radiographs, why should you tell your patients to put their tongue on the roof of the mouth? Why should you tell them to swallow first? Do you even give them these instructions? If you're not sure about any of these questions, check out this video and send it to anyone that takes panoramic images in your practice. Let's go. So this video was inspired by Dr. Leah L. Matney. Uh, she did a panoramic radiograph webinar a little while back. Uh, covers lots of details, covers anatomy, common findings, common positioning errors, and much more. I put a link in the description for you to check it out. Definitely worth your time. So in training our users on taking panoramic radiographs, I'd say only about 50% tell their patients to put their tongue on the roof of their mouth. When it comes to telling them to swallow first, that number drops significantly, maybe only 5% or 10%. And why do we tell our patients to swallow first? Well, I'll get to that in a few. But first, why should you tell your patients to put their tongue on the roof of the mouth? Let me show you a few images to help illustrate. All right, so we've got two examples here for you. One was taken on the CS9600 and the other taken on the CS8200 3D. And you can see in both examples, you've got these radiolucencies around the maxillary apices. Okay, that's air. And that air is caused from the tongue not being pressed along the roof of the mouth. And you can see how it could impact what you're trying to diagnose, all right? So that's just a couple of examples and you can see how that affects the image. Now, when the tongue is properly placed along the roof of the mouth, you can see, this is an image taken off of the CS8100 pan, and you can see we don't have those same radiolucencies around the maxillary APCs. So it does make a big difference for really nice quality diagnostic images. All right, so let's talk about the best verbal instructions you can give your patients to ensure they place their tongue properly. All right, so if you only tell them to put your tongue on the roof of the mouth, that's not quite good enough. For example, they might do something silly like this. So not quite placing their tongue properly along the roof of their mouth. So that's why you tell patients to swallow first. All right, so everybody do it with me. All right, so swallow. And when you swallow, your tongue naturally presses along the roof of the mouth. And I prefer that verbiage too. So instead of put your tongue along the roof of the mouth or put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, you tell them swallow and keep your tongue pressed along the roof of the mouth. And that's really a better instruction to give them the visual of what exactly to do with their tongue. And that's going to ensure you get the best quality images on your panoramic radiographs. So hope this was helpful. We'll see you guys later.